Jesus. It's all a lie. It suddenly hit me. It's all a lie. Air is this thin layer around the planet that holds us together, that unites us, that links us to the past and the future as far as we can see. What happens to one breath of air? Well, how do you follow a breath of air? One percent of the air is an element called argon. These elements are so snooty aristocrats, they don't react with anything else. They're inert. You breathe in a breath of air, you can actually calculate how many molecules of argon are in that breath of air. And that breath of air goes out of your lungs and it wafts around the room and outdoors eventually and over time will spread all the way around the world. And you can actually calculate how many argon atoms you just breathed in that were breathed by Alexander the Great, Mohammed. Every breath you take has millions of argon atoms that were once in the bodies of Joan of Arc and Jesus Christ. That every breath you take has millions of argon atoms that were in the bodies of dinosaurs 65 million years ago. That every breath you take will suffuse life into the future as far as we can see. We are connected by argon across the centuries, across space and time. Aboriginals are absolutely right. All of life is our biological kin. To me, the most amazing thing about the Human Genome Project was that it turns out over 99% of the genes in a human being are identical to the genes in our nearest relatives, the great apes. That the vast majority of genes in our cells are identical to the genes in our pet dogs and cats. And we have thousands of genes identical to the genes in fish and insects and birds and fungi and trees. They are our relatives. We should be grateful and celebrate our dependence on our relatives, the rest of life on earth. And celebrate the air, the water, the soil, the sunlight that makes our lives possible. Rumi says just being in a body and sentient is a state of rapture. <laughs> you know, just being here is a cause for celebration.